Well, the rabbi of the NDG Chabad, a Jewish community center, is in the middle of a war of words with Councillor Jeremy Searle. As Navneet Paul tells us, that is the least of his worries, as the Chabad could soon be evicted. Preparations for Passover may be underway at the Chabad NDG Community Center, but there is a lot of worry about this year. They have to fundraise a million dollars by the end of May to stay in their location. When the news came in, it was just, okay, what do we do now? Do we go look for another place? Do we go uh, downsize? Uh, what do we do? The proposal for developing the St. Columba Church in NDG was squashed when 225 nearby residents signed a register to stop the townhouse development. The Chabad, which occupies the parish hall next to the old church, has been given an ultimatum. Come up with the money to buy the place or move out. So right now we have about 500,000 and uh, we have uh, small community uh, donations that are coming in. The owner of the property, Robert Blatt, refused to be interviewed, but said he was looking after the long-term interest of the community center. Blatt also refused to comment on what his new plans are for the former church that he owns. What to do with this church has been a source of tension within this community. Some want to save it, others want to see it go. For now, it appears the side that wants to save it has the upper hand since council refused to push the issue to a referendum. Tensions grew when NDG Councilor Jeremy Searle made these comments at a council meeting. The only arguments I've heard in favor uh, of this project this evening appear to be the overused Jewish guilt argument, which of course is just a form of reverse. I'm not in favor of the project. He stands by those comments. I recognize that my comments were somewhat over the top, but the, the, at the same time they pale in comparison with those of a rabbi who without foundation accused an entire community of anti-Semitism. But the rabbi doesn't see it that way. I don't really know where his words are coming from and why he decided that when I got up at the borough council and said that we've been harassed, that that means that I was saying anti-Semitism. I never said that. For the rabbi, the disagreement cannot be resolved without two things. My grandmother used to always say that a nice bowl of chicken soup does a lot of people good. I love to sit down with Mr. Cyril for a nice bowl of soup and have a conversation. And I would love if he could apologize to, to me as a, as a representative of the NDG Jewish community, to the NDG Jewish community, and to the Jewish community at large. With Passover just around the corner, what would help make amends for the rabbi is to be able to stay at the current location and put all this behind. Navneet Paul, Global News, Montreal.